Hi friends, Team Deathmatch or TDM is finally in Apex Legends thanks to Season 16. And as you would expect from a Team Deathmatch mode, this is a fun, fast and unlimited respawn game mode that allows you to enjoy everything about Apex Legends gunplay and the Legends themselves, but without that one life pressure and sweatiness of a Battle Royale mode. So I'm going to give you a guide today on how TDM actually works in Apex Legends and all the rules you need to know. First things first, Team Deathmatch in Apex Legends is a 6v6 game mode and and you do have unlimited respawns. That means each team will have six legends and you can have multiple of the same legend, however you do load in as a trio. After you choose your legend, you then choose your loadouts. The loadouts are pre-made and you can select them pretty much the same as you do in control. They're also spread out in categories the same as control, meaning you've got a few different options. The weapons themselves in each category will also rotate, so you won't always be stuck with the same weapons. And by the way, you can swap your legends and loadouts anytime before you respawn throughout the game. Shields will also to regen, pretty much the same as control, but I think the timings are slightly different though. If you get your shield fully broken in team deathmatch, you've got a 10 second delay before your shield starts to regen. If you get cracked but not fully broken, it's then a 5 second regen, so slightly shorter. If you lose health in TDM, you do have to manually heal and they give you syringes and medkits to be able to do that. But they are unlimited, which again is the same as control. Respawning is also similar to control, but you don't get to choose your respawn point. It does take about 8 seconds to respawn spawn and that's when you have the opportunity to change your loadout and your legend in that menu that pops up. In terms of scoring and how to win, it's first team to get 30 kills in a round will win that round. It's then the best of three rounds to win a whole game of team deathmatch. So essentially first team to win two rounds by getting 30 kills in each round will be the overall winning team. This also means the length of a team deathmatch game can vary. Some things to look out for, if you look at the top of your screen you'll get to see the kill counter in the top middle part and that shows you how many kills your team is on versus the enemy team to give you an idea of who's winning. Also the white number above it indicates what round you're in. You do have a mini map to the top left, here you'll get to see yourself and your teammates, plus if you're a scanning legend or your team has a scanning legend and they scan, then enemies will also show up on that mini map. You can use your passive, tactical and ultimate abilities with normal cooldown times throughout the game as well, including Lifeline's care package by the way to be able to get purple armour, just to give you that little edge, as blue is the standard armour which you'll spawn into this game mode with. Normal care packages do drop mid round as well, so keep a lookout for those, it's a chance to get some golden guns or even even some mythic level guns, the ones that are in the care package for battle royale, for example the hemlock or the bocho bow or even a kraber. In terms of the maps they have skull town which is the same as it was for gun run, they've also got party crasher from arenas and habitat 4 from arenas and the devs did say they will be adding more maps in the future. The other cool thing is that the devs said they will continue to develop team deathmatch in Apex Legends and they'll start mixing up the rule set and introducing different elements to the game mode, which sounds awesome. Also in case you missed the memo, arenas has been removed from the game along with ranked arenas, although you should still get your rewards if you played ranked arenas last season and got high enough to earn any kind of rewards. And that's pretty much how to play team deathmatch in a nutshell. If you're wondering how long it's going to last, it'll be around for 3 weeks on its own before then dropping into a new mixtape playlist which will have rotating LTMs. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments down below. For now though, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.